Okay, I'm back. So, I wonder if uh, once these guys move on, I can actually find them again, or whether they're going to be gone for good. Like, it'd be cool to be able to, like, you know, bring them into one of my settlements, have them, like, be on my planet. <laughs> you know? Well, I don't have a planet yet, but... I, I do want to find a good planet to set a home on. Definitely. Keeping a 200-year-old sheep running is no easy task. I see. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! Thank you. I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? We have tech called a grub drive that allows a ship to bend space. Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Mm -hmm. Amazing! Oh, I'll have me. to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And okay, Amin. I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Congratulations. Uh... And Death, there's something else I need to talk to you about. I mean, yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. I suppose I'll help you prep the ship for the grab drive. Uh, hang on. Your predecessors knew about grab drives. Why didn't they wait for it instead of setting out? Ah, great question. I do not know for sure, but I can venture a guess. Hmm. All of the reading I've done on the matter suggests that at the time, there was uncertainty that the technology would ever work. Or if it did, that it would work at the scale we needed. So, I trust they made the decision to strike out when they did, fully believing it was the only way. Huh. What do you do as chief engineer? Some may say I'm a master of keeping things together with nothing but duct tape and bubble gum. Well, if we had any gum left. <laughs> Pretty sure that ran out a hundred years ago. Yeah. When I'm not dealing with catastrophic engine failures, <clears throat> I manage the other engineers. I see. We maintain all the machinery, computers, you name it. We keep the life support on, and the ship flying. Wonderful. Well, the ship this all. Do you have any good heroic engineering stories? Many years ago, when I was a junior engineer, the reactor's computer burned out. The computer that controls the reactor's various regulators. I'll spare you the details, but when that happens, the ship and everyone on it is in danger of turning into a mess of hot slag. I had to jury rig parts from old media devices to prevent a meltdown. And that's how I became the boss around here. Oh, very good. <clears throat> Should you have more questions for me? Yes, so many. Does everyone have their own spaceships like you? Do people only live on naturally habitable planets, or did they learn to terraform? Are we in contact with alien species? I have so many more, but I don't want to take up all your time. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, no terraforming, but there are colonies on inhospitable planets. We just use hub units and suits. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would take to terraform an entire planet seems improbable. I can assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose from out there. Hmm. No sentient life as far as we could tell, but plenty of diverse of mm. creatures. Disappointing, but not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. I suggested that the most likely explanation for you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. Not everyone has ships, but many people do. <laughs> I knew it! Incredible! A amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. I see. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. Hmm. Um... 
And that was all the questions and answers ah, I have time for thank now. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I can have a bit of a big personality, I'm told. So let me know if I ever get on your nerves. Yeah, no worries. I'm supposed to help you prep the ship for the grab drive. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. Okay. All right. This will be fun. And hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. Yeah. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Uh, you need my help? Yes, of course I need your help. My team needs to stay on top of their daily maintenance. And I need to make my own preparations for this gravity drive you brought us. I see. Your help is going to be vital to this procedure. And have no worries. It'll be easy. I'll guide you through the process. Let's see. Ready as great, can be. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on Automate. my end. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! Uh... And to think, okay. all this time, we thought we... And then control computer. Oh, sugar. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, what do I need to do again? Hey. hey, buddy, buddy, what do I need to do? Repeat that to me. If the other colonists knew how... Uh, something wrong? It doesn't matter what I need to do. There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump port to the turbo auxiliary cryogenic radiator. To auxiliary cryogenic. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Okay. Uh, careful not to touch anything on your way out. Uh, I hate this stuff because my brain is going to... Cryogenic radiation. No, turbo. Huh. I've already forgot. I hate my memory. I hate my brain. I hate it. People always appreciate Because it's too much uh, information at once. Right, hang on. You don't remember what I need there to do. There are three things we... Right. Reroute the power from the port turbo, turbo to, to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Ah, uh, something wrong. Wait, what? There are three things we need. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the... Turbo Turn to the auxiliary. Decouple the mag... Turbo to auxiliary. Right. See you. Turbo to auxiliary. Uh, there is no turbo to auxiliary. There's radiator to auxiliary and all that. I'm so confused. Wait, what? Bro, what? I can't tell you. Uh, something. Oh my gosh. Right. There are three things we reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turbo Turn the to auxiliary. Good luck out there. Turbo to auxiliary. Turbo wow. to auxiliary. I, I Turbo better... to auxiliary. There is no option for auxiliary. You, but the frick, bro. Here you are. Boy, am I glad you want some sort of... Hello everybody, just a quick announcement here. If you're interested in the paranormal, aliens, and other such topics, come on over to the Phenomena Normal podcast and subscribe. We go live every other Tuesday and Wednesday on Twitch at 5pm US time, and every video is uploaded to YouTube shortly after. Link will be in the description.
Oh my god, this is this is, this is gonna wind me up. As I, I just can't retain the information something in my brain. There are three things. Right. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to five percent. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. So auxiliary module assembly. Decouple. Okay. If the other colonists knew how many times the constant almost came apart at the seams, oh, I'm gonna need to write this down. Well, to thankfully, I never let it. Cause I'll tap out. It's gonna start doing the bloody annoying, stupid rubbish. That's for sure. I'm gonna start doing the jittering stuff where everybody frame rapes me because I tab out the game. Ah, uh, careful not to touch anything on your way out. It's <sighs> way too much information for me to try and frickin' memorize. I can't. People always appreciate because my brain it. is Whether terrible. And now my phone's been. Mm -hmm. Right. Memo. Oh my gosh. Right. Keeping at 200. Grab drive. Uh, something wrong? First bit. Need a reminder. There are three things we need to do. One. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Right. Reroute uh, port turbo wrong? pump. There are three things we reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to five percent. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Nice. Uh, something wrong? So I know about the five percent bit. There are three things we need to do. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Yeah. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to five percent. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Right. Okay. So uh, I've got two written down. There are three things we need. To reroute the power from. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Magnetic what? Ah, uh, something wrong. There are three things. Reroute the power. Turn the plasma runoff. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Right. So let me confirm. Uh, Reroute port turbo auxiliary cryo radiator. Reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. See you! Okay, so I should have this now. It took me long enough. My bloody brain is terrible. So, magnetic flange pipe enclosure, decouple from auxiliary module assembly. Right. Sure Next. Is nice to know. So, reroute port turbo pump. From auxiliary cryo radiator 
assembly auxiliary. Wait. Auxiliary. Right. There are other people out there. And then five percent. Uh, so plasma runoff inhibitor. Five percent. Hey, good. Finally. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, that's my brain for you. Welcome to my world and my disabilities, my mental disabilities that I got to deal with. Just terrible at retaining information. If you listen to it like Never ten times, my brain won't retain before. it. It's so frustrating again, with some things if it's too complicated for me. Just stay out of trouble. Now that you're here, I can finally give my okay. no matter the outcome. Go drive in storage. Should be all set now. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Lovely. Thank you again for all you've done. No problem. Uh, where will you go now? We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. Mm -hmm. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Uh, Horima too here. Let's see, no problem at all. Got it worked out. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. Oh, thank you. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. Tika baseball. Cool. Hey. Maybe you could help out Abe. He's been talking about needing someone with a ship. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from Speak here on out. Speak with Abe. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict. Okay. I mean, I could help out Abe, or I could wait for you guys to move on, and then do the quest, right? Now that we know there are other people out there, and then I can track you to where your next planet is. And I'm going to settle there. <laughs> you want whole domain over it? Well, I'm coming. Uh, essentially, you know. Uh, and I will have domain over it. Great. Not you. How many more days, months, years of being cooped up here before we find a new place to live? Nights of trying to bloody do this again and find my way around. This way, right? You're lucky we're under orders not to escort you. Brother. There we go, Bruh, I will kill you. Now that we know they're not are test me. Oh. Yeah. that was certainly Be back fun. In our own ship. Uh, I've gone too high up, haven't I? I have. I need to go one floor down. Right, yep. Wrong way. This way. There we go. How are you? Oh. Sorry. I was lost in memory. Lovely. How can I help? Okay. Woo. So, one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make a completely new save, just to play it safe. Because if they take off and disappear and the quest disappears, 
and that's going to be a problem. Indicators are green. We're free. Oh boy. Um. Retrieve the security key card. Well, I'm already here. the beauty of this world but this time our entry seemed to take uh, longer and we passed by a lot more open water well, there's something wrong robot. with our normal flight path i heard the rumors of a ship in orbit please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience this alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route nothing to worry about to make up for this allow me to credit your account with a 15 percent discount on spa amenities once again, we are dreadfully sorry. It's okay, Vietor. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why. But thank you for crediting my account anyway. Hmm. Well, uh, so we got a new activity now, right? Location. Sure, map. Where has it gone to now? Huh? Has it gone somewhere? And gone. I really want to find out, actually. So I'm going to take out. Ah, no, no, no. I'm going to call the episode here. If you haven't enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.